Hello everybody, my name is Santa Reviews and welcome back to another movie review. Today we are going to be reviewing The Incredibles 2. This is the long-awaited sequel to the first Incredibles movie, which I am a huge fan of. I really do like the first Incredibles movie. It has a lot of interesting ideas and themes and it's kind of great. It mocks superhero films like DC and Marvel films that are just blown with CGI and action and really have no story. Where the first Incredibles has a great story, kind of mocks other superhero films, tries to differentiate itself from these boring, bland movies about superheroes and CGI, and for the time, it was pretty fantastic. So 14 years later, we get the sequel to Incredibles 2, and I gotta say, this movie is pretty bad. Like, really, really bad. I just want to take a moment and say, this is actually impressive. You guys, Disney, Pixar, you're a good company. You're good at making animation. You're good at making movies. Yeah, sometimes your movies aren't always great, and I think all of your movies, except for, like, Up and, like, Monsters, Inc., you make some animated movies that are just cliche and boring, but I must say, for the love of fuck, how did you mess this up? You had 14 years! Boyhood had 12 years in the making, and that movie is way better than this, and you guys still screwed this up with 14! years worth of material it's impressively bad but there are some good things about this movie so I'm gonna go over those first the animation is actually pretty well done the way the setting looks all the designs of houses and even vehicles look like a 60s setting and it really adds a lot to the film where the action really shines it's in its action scenes which are actually quite great and intense it does it way better than these superhero films that are just blown with cgi and that's impressive because number one this is an animated film and number two this is by the same people who made cars 2 so i gotta give them props in a way but at the same time, this movie still sucks. The music was actually very well done, and I really liked the way that it incorporated itself into the film. And in the action scenes, it was also very well done. It sets up the setting really well, just like the animation does. But that's pretty much it. There's nothing that makes this movie special. It's very soulless, lifeless, and dull and bland. Let's talk about my problems with the movie. Funnily enough... My biggest problem with this movie is its story. What I really loved about the first Incredibles movie was that it had an interesting story. This Incredibles movie has almost no story. It acts like it's special and cool, but it's not. And really, it just actually downgrades the film. You see the first movie, and the story has these interesting ideas about superheroes and just films in general that really bring the first movie to life. This movie has almost no ideas, but really, in fact, it tries to steal those great and very vibrant ideas from the first movie and those themes from the first movie and put it into this movie, but what they do here is that they just destroy all those ideas and make it so dumbed down and watered down to the point where the story is so bland, it almost put me to sleep. This movie bored me to tears. Also, none of the characters have anything to do with its story. The characters are uninteresting and very, very bland. Mr. Incredible is one of my favorite characters from the first movie, and in this movie, he's so unlikable. He's just this soulless, lifeless being that has, like, no emotion, and when he tries to show emotion, it's just so, like, cringy and awful. Elastigirl in this movie is so 
bland. She has nothing to her character. If I had to describe each character in this movie, it would be bland. Each character is bland. You could replace each character with a bottle of water and you couldn't tell the difference. That's how bland each character is. And if that wasn't bad enough, the dialogue that comes from these characters' mouths is cringe-worthy. There's a scene in this film where Elastigirl, Mr. Incredible, and Frozone are all in like this board meeting with Winston Dever, who is one of the characters in this movie. And Winston Dever's like, well, we've been taking pictures of you uh, the moment you got in here or whatever the fuck. Then Elastigirl looks at her key card and I shit you not, I cringed so hard that my face went inside of my head and dissipated into dust. She says, whoa, the picture looks so good on this key card. And then a character in the back goes, thanks, I designed it myself. Oh my god. There's also just characters in this movie that are so obnoxious and really detrimental to the film. Like Jack-Jack in this movie. <sighs> Yeah, I'm sorry, but when you're trying to be intelligent and edgy to kids, maybe not put a baby in the film? I don't know. I would have liked it if Jack-Jack was just like in the first movie. Not really there. What? Why is Jack-Jack even in this movie? Like, he serves no purpose other than to make the kids in the theater go, Oh, ha ha, that's so funny. Jack Jack, he, he shoots lasers from his eyes and, 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 and he shoots the lasers at the raccoon. Ha, isn't that so funny? And I'm just like, please stop. And lo and behold, they bring back Edna Mode from the first movie. One of the things I can say about the first movie is that Edna Mode was obnoxious. In this movie... Ooh, they times it 10. And she is so obnoxious in this movie. Her voice is so annoying. And she also serves no purpose to this movie. She is more annoying than herpes. Then there's the character Screen Slaver, who is the villain. And he is just bad. He weakens the film and his motivations aren't just... And they don't really make much sense. I don't want to spoil the film. But oh my goodness. His motivations and the reasoning for doing some of the things that he does in this film. Are unreal. Like they just make me cringe with fucking agony. He's such a weak villain. And one of the things I can say about the first Incredibles is that the villain was good and just, and he had a motivation for being a villain. What's his motivation? I don't want to spoil anything, but he really doesn't have a motivation for being a villain. He is a villain because the script says so. Other than that, this movie is pretty boring and it's paced awfully. How did you screw this movie up? Incredibles 2 is not only bad, but it's funny to laugh at because you realize that the movie that is mocking other movies, funnily enough, is mocking itself in a way because it's joined the bandwagon of these superhero movies that are just boring and bland. This movie is bland. I'm gonna give this movie a very low four.